This installation video is applicable for AFL's Splice-On ST and FC FuseConnect connectors on 2 and 3 mm diameter simplex cable. These step-by-step -step instructions demonstrate the termination of a 3 mm ST FuseConnect connector using a Fujikora 70S Fusion Splicer. Always wear safety glasses and properly dispose of fiber shards when handling and cleaving optical fibers. The ST FuseConnect connector includes the following materials. A boot unit, a spring unit, a protective sleeve, a ferrule unit, connector housing, and a dust cap. Begin by loading the ferrule unit into the right side of the Fusion splicer. Close the wind protector to protect the factory prepared cleave from harm and contamination. Place the cable into the 3 mm cable clamp, approximately 10 inches from the end of the cable, and engage the clamp. Slide the boot unit and the spring unit onto the cable. Using the template on the front of the connector packaging, mark the cable at 35 mm and 90 mm from the end of the cable. Strip 35 mm of 3 mm jacket from the cable exposing the Kevlar and 900 micron fiber. Use the cord splitter to split the jacket 90 mm from the end of the fiber, 55 mm from the end of the 3 mm jacket. Peel the cable open, exposing the Kevlar and 900 micron fiber. Slide the protective sleeve onto the 900 micron fiber. Using the template on the front of the connector packaging, mark the fiber at 32 mm from the end of the 900 micron fiber. Strip 32 mm of 900 micron and 250 micron coating off, exposing the bare fiber. Clean the fiber with a lint-free wipe and fiber preparation fluid. Place the fiber into the 900 micron fiber holder with the end of the 900 micron coating at the end of the fiber holder. Close the fiber holder clamp. Load the fiber holder into a precision cleaver and cleave the fiber. Carefully remove the fiber holder with the cleaved fiber end from the precision cleaver. Load the fiber holder into the splicer and close the wind protector. Splice the fiber to the fuse connect connector. Open the fiber holder and the ferrule unit holder clamps after the splicer has performed a tension test on the splice. Continue to keep tension on the splice while removing it from the fusion splicer. Slide the protective sleeve over the splice so that it is flush with the ferrule unit. Position the sleeve in the center of the heater while continuing to maintain contact with the ferrule. Heat the protective sleeve. Allow the sleeve to cool before removing it from the heater. Hold the base of the ferrule unit and remove the transfer tubing. Bring the spring unit up to the ferrule unit. Pull the Kevlar and cable jacket out of the spring unit. Slide the connector housing onto the spring unit. The key and the small arrow on the housing should align. Push until a click is heard. Bring the boot unit up, capturing the Kevlar and jacket evenly around the 900 micron fiber. Screw the boot unit on three quarters of the way. Trim the excess Kevlar using the Kevlar scissors. Screw the boot unit on the rest of the way. Apply the dust cap and remove the cable clamp. The termination is now complete.